All right, you guys ready for the graduate? Yeah. Can I get a drum roll, please? program has helped me tremendously. Um, before coming here for the second time, I was completely hopeless. Once again, um, I've been through so many relapses and, you know, the two-year sobriety that I had was such a huge milestone for me and I ended up ruining that by using again and, uh, you know, I'm still dealing with it three years later and I'm glad to be close to pretty much over it, you know. Um, I mean, recovery is never over, of course, but it feels good to be finished with this program, for sure. Um, I thought I was going to be stuck in that vicious cycle forever. And, you know, this program has given me the confidence to see that there is still hope if I'm willing to do, dig deep and work hard on myself. And, you know, throughout my years of addiction, I haven't had many accomplishments, at least none to speak of. And I can proudly say that finishing this program is one of the greatest accomplishments I've had so far in my life. Um, I just want to thank the staff. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much for everything. Um, it's been amazing. And uh, you guys are so helpful. I also wanted to thank all you guys as well, all the clients, all my friends. I appreciate everything, being so supportive and all your positivity. That's all I got. Congratulations. I would now like to open up the floor to the family of Drake. Um, please help me welcome up Drake's mom to speak on his behalf. Yeah. It's hard to talk when you want to cry. Tears of joy, mind you. I thought about quite a few things to say about Drake, starting from when he was born. What a beautiful baby he was, and so sweet, and so easy to take care of. And when he was about seven months old, I went to Hawaii for quite a few days. And this is a memory that has stuck with me all of my life since then. The look in his eyes when I came home, how much joy, and unfiltered love, so happy to see me because he loved me that much. And I don't think I've ever felt that kind of love from someone. And I think it bonded us, of course, forever as mother and son. And then I thought about him growing up as a little boy because he's always been so kind and compassionate, shy, intelligent, funny, the same things he is today, except maybe not so shy. And when he was finally ready to go out and have his sleepovers, his first one, his seventh one, his tenth one, he'd call me up and say, Mom, can you come get me? <laughs> and I would. <laughs> when he was seven, <laughs> when he was 12, when he was 15, <laughs> when he was 21, and most recently when he was 26, right before he came here. I will always come and get you, no matter where you are. Because I think he felt safe to be at home with me. And home isn't Sam in Idaho where we lived, and home isn't Boise, Idaho where we live now. It's not the house on Sunset, but the house on Holly. Home is here, home is us. And I thought about talking how alcohol took you away from us, but most importantly, how it took you away from yourself. But I think you already know that. For the first time, maybe to the core of your being, 
I think you know that. And I hope you know that for your own survival. And I'm beginning to believe that you know that because I hear you talking about things I haven't heard you talk about before. And that's change. That's change. So I think this moment is to be transformative for you to reach out and grab what you need to grab to open up all those gifts you have inside yourself. For you, for your friends, for your family, for the world, for the universe. Do you know Gandhi said, be the change you want to be, or be the change you want to happen in life. And I think, be the change you want to see in life. Be the change you want to see you be in life. And finally to finish, because he was worried I was going to be long-winded. <laughs> You're absolutely, undeniably, my favorite person on the planet. And I want to thank you for giving me the best gift I could ever have. And that's the honor of being your mom. I love you. <laughs>